Hey there, replay viewers. I so appreciate you. Like truly, 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 thank you so much for hopping on. Drop me a hi in the comments so I can say hi back to you. And make sure you get, click that get notified button so you can join me live. Because it's way more fun when we are live together. Hey guys, it's Jody Dunn coming at you live tonight. I want to talk about a new technique that I very recently learned and I'm wondering if any of you have ever heard of it before because I had never heard of it before. It's called draping. Hey Tina, hey Jamie. Have you guys ever heard of draping before? I just learned it. The videos I watched to show me how to do draping, I have never tried this by the way, we're gonna try it together, were from like 10 or 11 months ago, like a new trend in makeup. So I don't know if the trend is already out or not, <laughs> but I just learned about it and I was very intrigued by it and very interested in it. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys what draping is. Never heard of it? All right. So. When you think about makeup products that are very universal, even for women that don't wear a lot of makeup or even don't wear makeup on a regular basis, probably a few things come to mind. Mascara, right? We almost always use mascara even if we don't use it every day. Lip products. Most women will use a lip product at some point, even if it's not on a regular basis. And the other thing that I think of that most women use and has been used for, for time and time and time over time is blush. So this is a technique using blush. And I go through phases where I wear blush and then don't wear blush, just depending on how I feel but it's because I'm so in love with bronzer. So I use bronzer all the time. I love, I mean love to highlight and contour. And a lot of times I will use my bronzer to do my contouring. So blush is a, or draping, is a form of contouring the face with color. So you're using blush to do the contouring and you're using at least two different colors. And I found this technique to be so interesting to me. And it started, so I did a little bit of research on it. It started in the late 70s and early 80s. And if I think back to different movies that I would see or, you know, different pictures from that era, they always had a lot of color. They probably didn't call it draping back then. This is just what we're calling it now. So, but they always had a lot of color and I could see, even though contouring wasn't a thing back in the 80s, you could see women chiseling out their cheekbones, but it was with blush. So that's kind of what draping is other than we're going to use multiple colors of blush. So I'm really excited to try this. Hopefully it turns out. <laughs> so I've got some blush here and I've got a couple of crazy colors, you guys. Um, this color is called Alive. It is a very neutral color. This color, <laughs> I know this scares a lot of you. This color, if you didn't guess, is called Excited. Doesn't that look like a color that should be called Excited? Okay, this is my favorite. I don't really know if you can tell in this palette, but this is the one I use whenever I do blush, which is probably, I don't know, a few times a week. Um, whenever I want that flush color. And the thing that I love about blush and I think why it is so widely accepted and so widely used is because it just gives you that youthful appearance, right? It makes you look flush and natural as long as it's, you know, not like I wouldn't put this color right here on the apple of my cheek and just leave it like that, right? Um, and then I have this color 
actually just had somebody recently buy this and she just messaged me, I think it was yesterday, and she was like, oh my gosh, this is the prettiest blush I have ever used. I have been getting so many compliments, you guys, I love. This one is called Possible. Not only do I love the color of the blush, I love the name. Possible, I love it. This is called peachy, so it is a very peachy color. And then this one is called glowing, and I know in the camera it looks a little bit white. You guys, it's almost like a highlighter. It's really neutral and pretty. If you know anything about blush at all, which I'll be honest with you, <laughs> know very little about blush but our products are made by NARS the same people that make NARS blush NARS blush is very sought after for people that like good quality makeup and this particular blush right here which is called glowing Oprah Winfrey's makeup artist has said every single woman on the planet needs to have this blush because it just gives you this beautiful, it's obviously very light. It's not going to give you much color. It just gives you this little glowing look. All right, so let's get to it. Let's try this draping method. So I don't have anything on my face other than my foundation. So normally I would have my um, bronzer bronzer on. I would have my bronzer to chisel out my cheekbones because I want my face defined. It makes me look slimmer. It brings out the cheekbone. I would define my forehead, my jawline, all that good stuff. So we're going to try this. And I'm excited because it really does look pretty. And especially if you love color, which I do love color. All right. So we are going to start with my favorite, which is possible right here. And I'm going to take, I have an angled blusher brush. I'm going to take the larger size or the, yeah, the larger side that is a little bit more fluffy. And I'm kind of caking that on. I know that when you are wearing blush, a lot of times women will put it on the apples of their cheeks only, but there's so many different ways that you can wear blush. So I am gonna take this. I've seen a couple different techniques with this. I'm gonna take this on the apple of my cheek. Can you see how pretty that is? And I'm gonna kind of pull it down. And this is honestly how I normally wear my blush, not quite this heavy. <laughs> But when I'm placing it, I place it on the apple of my cheek and then I pull it down so that it all blends and it doesn't look like I just have one little rosy spot. All right, so I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull it back and I'm gonna pull it down. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that excess right here on my forehead to give me a little bit of color up here. And obviously when I wear my bronzer, I do very little blush, just enough to give me a little bit of a glow. But isn't that a beautiful, I love, love this blush color possible. It's a little heavier than I normally would wear it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it up. Hopefully it turns out. If it doesn't, then I'll know to use different colors next time. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go in with excited. I'm gonna try excited. And you do not normally, so I'm gonna take excited more on the back end here of the brush. Normally when you are putting blush on, you keep the blush on the cheekbone area. So for draping, we are going to take this right under the cheekbone. So the hollow points where you normally would contour. That's pretty dark. <laughs> I definitely, <laughs> I definitely would not go out in public like this. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> let's try this again on the other side. 
So now that we know what not to do <laughs> with draping, again, I have never tried it before, so I'm trying it with you guys. Let's do it on the other side. A little bit lighter. Obviously, I went way too heavy. I could keep blending that. It probably, <laughs> it probably would blend out, but that's pretty clownish looking, so let's not do that. All right, so we have our what not to do. Let's go, I wiped my brush off. Let's go to the other side. All right, again, I'm gonna come in with my possible. Okay, and right on that cheekbone. And bring it down. So we're giving ourselves a very nice flush, very 80s. <laughs> Yes, very 80s. This is what the 80s look like. So I guess if I was doing a tutorial on how to do 80s makeup, then we would be in business here. We would be in business here. Okay, and I know that I already said that this color would scare most of you, and I'm totally scared you away from it now. All right, I'm going to barely tap my brush into this color and I'm gonna tap it off to get that excess off. And maybe this isn't the color that I should have chose, but I like a pretty rich contour. So I figured doing it with blush, I should try with the darkest color, but maybe next time I'll try it with uh, Alive. That is darker than my possible and it might, uh, it might blend in better. All right, here we go. Okay, that is much better now that I have used a lot less product. So again, you normally would not take a blush underneath your cheekbone. So you can see, <laughs> don't look at this side. You can see if you are looking hot on at me that I have really carved that out. It does make my face look slimmer instead of doing it with a bronzer or with a contour color, which is typically, you know, some type of a neutral brown color, depending on your skin tone, it chisels your face out. So I have really kind of accomplished the same thing here, just with color. So I like that. I like that look. It looks soft. I'm gonna take my excited back up here. And then I think what I will do I'm gonna wipe my brush off a little bit and I'm gonna take that glowing color. So if you are a highlighter girl, if you love highlighting, which I do love highlighting, I think highlighting is amazing. And I didn't used to do it for a long time. Now I love it almost as much as I love to contour. Yes, that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Should I take a picture and say that, Kelly? Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the glowing, which again is such a soft, light color. I know the camera won't even pick it up. And it has just a little bit of shimmer in it. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I'm gonna take that right above my cheekbone. And then I can just kind of drape everything together. I think I will take, got a hair from my brush, I'll take a little bit of that glowing right down the center of my nose to brighten that up a little. It's such a beautiful soft color that it really is a great highlighter. I don't know if you can see because of the sun. So definitely different than I normally do. I normally would use a brown color for my contouring to sculpt out my face and chisel it out to make myself look slimmer. Now I have learned the draping method. We have learned the wrong way to drape. 
and we have learned the correct way to drape. And I will probably play with this with a few different colors to see which colors I like best. I think that number one blush, um, which is more of like a mauve color, would also be extremely gorgeous. But see, this color is not that scary. It is over here. <laughs> But it's not that scary when applied lightly. I have worn it as my eyeshadow too and it was really pretty. So what do you guys think of draping? Maybe you guys already knew about it. Like sometimes I'm behind the trends, but that's okay. I definitely love color. So I think it is a great way to bring color into your face without looking clownish. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that side. This side's much better. All right, you guys, if you have any questions about blush, I know it is such an amazing product. It really does give you that youthful appearance. Um, if you need recommendations on what colors would be good for your skin tone or how to apply your blush to your face shape, I know that can be tricky sometimes. Shoot me a message. I would love to help you. As always, I so very much appreciate you joining and I hope you got some value out of this and learned a new technique tonight and you got to learn the wrong way and the right way. So yay. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a fabulous night. Bye.